us, Holy Spirit. Take us, we are your own. Come lay your hand on us. Come, we belong to you. Lord, we are your children. We are poor and weak, but still we want to prefer your will to ours. We want to offer you all the respect that is due to you. Help us, Lord, by sending us the Holy Spirit. Come take us, Holy Spirit, take us, we are your own. Today we are going to ask the gift of fear of the Lord. That's not being afraid of God, you know. It's much more than that. It's that knowing that God is a Father who knows the best for us. And that's why He calls us to be humble, obedient, respectful of His will. And there's a Psalm 34 that says, See and taste the goodness of the Lord. Blessed is the one who finds shelter in Him. Refer the Lord, all you saints, you too. And for those who fear Him, do not live in want. The mighty may be hungry and in need, but those who seek the Lord never lack nothing. Come listen to me, my sons. I will show you how to fear the Lord. How to love Him in a very respectful way. And Pope John, Pope, not Pope John, but Pope Francis, reminds us how it's not easy always to be obedient. It's not easy to be humble. And sometimes, it's not only not only easy, but it's very hard. And our little temper comes out. And that's when we can ask the Holy Spirit to come and to console us, because we need it. And He'll console us, and He'll open our hearts to something new. And He'll help us to be humble. We just have to look at Jesus in his life, how Jesus loved so much his Father, but also a love very respectful. Jesus said, Truly, I assure you, the Son cannot do anything by himself, but only what he sees his Father do. And the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does. And God wants to do that with us. We just have to ask Him every day, God, what would please you today? What would you do if you were in my place? What would you do if you were me? And I want to do what you would do. This attitude is an attitude that pleases the Lord and shows us how God our Father is close to us. And as says uh, Pope Francis again, he says that this gift of God, the fear of the Lord, help us, helps us to be in love with God. And I think this is true. Because every time we ask the Lord, what would you do? How would you do? Could you help me and do it with me? When we are respectful and humble in front of him, he always comes and help us, helps us. And every time He comes and helps us, we are more and more in love with Him because we know that forever and ever His love is with us. He loves us from the beginning and never it will shall end. So now we'll turn to the Blessed Sacrament and ask for the gift 
of this of the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit and help us to be obedient, to be humble, to be confident and respectful in front of the will of God our Father. But please Holy Spirit, come and visit us so that we may start afresh again our love story with God our Father. Maybe times we didn't want to do His will, or we just neglected whatever He asked us. And today, it's like something on our conscience. Please, Holy Spirit, come and heal our hearts. Maybe we're a somebody that never was obedient of all his life, but you can change everything, Holy Spirit. You can make us humble. You can change us so that we may be respectful. Maybe we weren't respectful towards our parents. And today, we're sorry about that. Please, come and heal all those wounds. And permit us to start afresh our love story with our Father and also with our brothers, and show them, and tell them, and live with them in the peace and the love of His divine will. Amen. And now we're going to pray the Vini Creator and ask with all the Church in this time of the Novena the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come into us, Spirit Creator. Come visit the souls of your own and fill with heavenly graces the hearts that yourself have created. We call you Consoler, you who are the gift of the Most High, living spring, fire, charity, invisible consecration. You are the seven gifts in our souls, the finger of the Father's right hand you are the Father's promise. You speak His word to our hearts. Kindle your light to our eyes and pour your love into our hearts. Always affirm with your strength the weakness of our body. Far from us, drive away the enemy. Without delay, give us peace. Guided and led forth by you, we will avoid every danger. Help us to know God the Father. Teach us also His Son, and make us always believe in You, You who are the Spirit of both of them. Glory to God, the Eternal Father, to the Son risen from the death, to the Holy Spirit Consoler, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May God look kindly on you and give you peace. And this is for you, for your family, for all your country, and for the whole world. Amen. Oh, Mary, my mother.